Herzlich willkommen zum Musical Talk, dem Music and Sound Production Podcast aus Berlin. Close that down for a second. All right, so, yes, here we go. Uh, thank you, Tage. So, firstly, I'm going to start it up. So, as Tage introduced, uh, Record is its own application. So, Reason remains standalone and Record is now a new application, which, um, again, marketing speak is kind of uh, positioned towards a different uh, clientele to what Reason would have been originally thought of. Singer, songwriter, people who want to get their ideas down fast and easy. So, kind of what, what's been tried to be done here is to bring something that's intuitive, less mouse clicks to get your music um, recorded. Um, as, it men as it's mentioned, it records audio. Um, so what we might do just quickly, before I ask Thomas here to, to, to help us out with some guitar, um, let me just quickly, quickly run through the main workings of the program because I, I can imagine everyone's pretty keen to check that out. Um, we've only, we're not going to go through a full demo um, uh, today because as you've all, it's amazing that you're still here and thank you for such a, um, your attention for such a long time. But I'll just give you a bit of a teaser and uh, there'll be more information to come. So basically, we've got three different environments and you can use your F, F um, function keys here. We've got a new mixer, which is for me the most exciting part. It's modeled on a very famous... Uh, well, one of the most famous consoles of all time. Um, I, the, you get a first person who puts their hand up and tells me what that's modeled on gets a T-shirt. Um, you, you'll find out pretty soon. Ah! Correct. No, not correct at all. Um, on the right, we have like a channel strip. This is really cool. So basically, think of this as a, as a full mixing console. We can just scan up here. We've got sends and returns. Obviously, we've got our faders there, panning, solo. We go up. You can add inserts. Uh, then you've got an EQ section. And you've got a compressor, gate. Okay, come on. Come on someone tell me. Yes. Okay. Get the get the man a t-shirt, please, Tiger. What size are you? Um, yeah. So it's modeled on an SSL. We don't have a, a, an official affiliation with SSL, but uh, there's been some very, very good, um, excellent reviews from top engineers. Um, who's the guy up in Stockholm who mixed the demo song I'm about to to? Yeah. Who's mixed Britney Spears and all this kind of stuff? Um, he's a he's a bit of a dude, and he said it was great. So, take it from him. Um, yeah, so that's the mixer section. Fairly self-explanatory. Then we have a slightly different way of working in that I can move over here. We have the sequencer. It's hard to see. Exactly. Thank you. So, here's the sequencer. Uh, as you can see now, we have an input monitoring section here, uh, of course. Um, and then we have the rack. The rack has changed quite a lot now because... We have a master section here um, and different kind of ways of working. Plus, also now, you can actually move to the right of the rack. You can actually add things in modular ways. So, if I just pull that, that tool window back up again, I can actually add devices in here. The reason devices actually work. So, I can add devices in here. Right. So, again, if you have reason, you can implement reason into record. Right. So you can actually, if you have Reason, it works in Record, but you can still use Reason standalone. If you don't have Reason, you can use Record standalone, but you don't get any of the devices. You only get some standard stuff, right? You won't get all the synths and all that kind of stuff. Is that clear? No. Okay. So um, <laughs> who, who has Reason already? Okay, so if you get record, you're going to be... Reason is all implemented into record, yeah? So it's, it's, it's connected. So you can use reason within the record environment. If, sorry? You don't... They're two separate applications. So reason... You, you cannot start record while reason is running. You start record and all the reason devices are connected in record. Or you can use reason standalone. So it's a slightly new way of thinking about it. Yes. Exactly. Well, yes, but it's a standalone application. That's a kind of kind of different way of thinking about it. Um, 
So also what we can do here is we can actually move, check this out, I can move the rack over to the right, which is new. So I can actually now, instead of the rack being from up to down, I can also move to side to side, which means that you can manage your devices a lot easier, right? So this is a nice way of working. Um, let me, let me um, before I move on, I can also like, if I combine two function keys, I can get the rack and the mixer together, or I can get the rack and the sequencer together. This is quite nice. Um, so let's just, let, what I'm going to do is, because I'm doing a lot of talking, let's see it in action, yeah? I'm going to close that down. I'm going to load a great demo song by Do Josh Mobley in the States who's put this together for us. And uh, let's see it in action. In interesting information. This is, this is kind of new. When you, isn't that a nice picture? When you load, or s when you save, rather, a record song, it's saved into one file, yeah? All of your audio, all of your MIDI, everything will be saved into one self-contained file, right? So there's no audio folder, there's no losing this, losing that, it's all done in one file, which is quite a nice way of working. But that's a big file, right? If you've got lots of audio, then that could be six or 700 megabyte file, because if you have a, an, audio, an application with lots of audio, then that's the way it's kind of worked, yeah. Um, okay, so let me just quickly do an overwrite here because I want to, Assign that here. Ha <laughs> ha I haven't set the Korg up with this. Very good, Simon. Okay, let me just put it into, uh, into play and let's have a listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> 